y avoir loin des fumées de la ville Un bout de plage, un coin de ciel Ou une île si loin Hello and uh, bonjour from uh, Lyon in France where I'm about to undertake yet another bikepacking trip and uh, in fact I'm going to try and finish off what I started last year where I had to pretty much abandon my whole trip and the whole idea of cycling from the northeast to the southwest of France uh, because of horrendous bad weather. So this year I've come back and uh, hopefully I can do, uh, do a proper tour though the weather predictions are not um, very promising has to be said so anyway the next couple of days should be fine and uh, today I will be taking a little city trip of uh, Lyon which is a city that is uh, wholly underrated I think by many tourists I've been here once before and uh, we liked it so uh, see if we can pick up on some of the highlights uh, of, uh, of Lyon so allons-y on y va well I gotta say I don't mind this tree alley at all very nice the typical French platane sycamores I think in English Beautiful. Now you know where we're heading. Well, it's good to see that the, uh, the Paul Bocuse enterprise is still in business after he passed away a few years ago. Yeah, normally I would have uh, gone on, on the courtyard to show you some uh, very nice murals, but uh, there's so many people and they are <coughs> slightly better dressed than I am, so um, I think we'll have to do with pictures I took um, in the past because obviously that's one of the reasons uh, why I came here um, as this is pretty much the continuation of the, my trip down uh, memory lane that I made last year this time around there shouldn't be too many uh, of those memories really on this trip but uh, this is certainly one of them I had the absolute <laughs> pleasure and luxury to have dined here uh, in the 90s on this celebration I think of the 30th anniversary I think of my parents wedding or something but anyways we were in good company and uh, yeah, as you would imagine, the food was uh, fantastic. Yeah, Paul Bocuse, he's gone, but um, the memory lives on. And he's quite the institute here, I can tell you. We'll be seeing uh, quite a few other things about him, I think, in Lyon uh, during the day. So, yeah, that's, that's it for now. See you later. Hmm. Nicole. And I can't tell which of the two main rivers this is. Uh, Lyon lies on the uh, confluence of the uh, Rhone and uh, Saône rivers. But uh, yeah, I have no clue. Oh, I think I've been here before. About 10 years ago, I vaguely remember. This being very modern and all. Oh, it's a thing with memory. It doesn't get better. <laughs> park de la Tête d'Or. What a lovely park. That's what every big city needs. City green. Cool. It's a little zoo here. Free entrance. Well, it's fair to say I did not expect to see a zebra today. <laughs> yeah, I could spend a lot of time here, but I am kind of peckish, so I'll head out of this park now and find myself something for lunch. All right, see you later. Look where we are, the Al de Provocusa. Doesn't look, look like much from the outside, but inside you should be able to find lots of uh, fresh produce. So let's uh, see if we can find some. I first say we don't have any of that produce in uh, the Groningen on our weekly markets. Ooh. Well, I was just about to comment how quiet Lyon is. Okay, it's a Sunday, but hardly any big city noises like ambulances and police sirens and all that. But unfortunately here, I wanted to film. <laughs> it's a little market. Oh well. 
Well, this of course is a very iconic name or it should be familiar to you if you've ever been to any cinema as the uh, Lumiere brothers pretty much started it off back in the day If you have to invent something at this cinema, make sure your name is Lumiere What a fantastic, Lumiere obviously meaning light, what a fantastic name for them if we can get a quick look around here and then uh, we'll head back to the uh, the old part of the city. The Cinematography Hall of Fame, Da Vinci, Kirche, Eastman, Kodak. Yeah, right. The place where they shot the first film, is it? Wow, it is. <laughs> I'm now filming this with a GoPro. What a difference it is. I've got sound and vision, everything in this little, this tiny little device. And to think what they had to come up with to, to even film a few seconds absolutely insane right um yeah up to the city center we go now if ever a street was appropriately named it has to be this one this is the street of the first film <laughs> which is exactly what it is well i actually had a hard time finding this statue because the pictures i saw of it uh, made me think that it would be sort of at this height level but it is up there and what you see up there is a very famous French writer Antoine de Saint-Exupéry who, uh, who wrote The Little Prince which is an absolutely well everybody in France knows uh, those stories uh, I'm not quite sure how well known he is or The Little Prince for that matter in, in the rest of the world I think uh, as a child I must have read something about it but I can't really mem remember well, this is a nice statue remembering the uh, the birth because he was from Lyon obviously that would be the reason uh, and as a tourist bus they're going to say the same thing as I do <laughs> oh well you heard it from me first all right let's do some proper sightseeing now well they've got a miniature Eiffel Tower here I'm not sure if you can see it but kind of nice this is a city of uh, around 530,000 inhabitants I believe uh, which makes it France the third largest city by population but the whole metropolitan area is two point something million and that makes it the second largest it feels so much quieter today which is nice of course several places in the city where they have put up these uh, frescoes and um, as you can see the one that I just showed depicts quite a few famous uh, Lyonnais people from Lyon and uh, of course I could recognize the Lumiere brothers because I've just been there and uh, most obviously Paul Bocuse the others of, of course I don't know but uh, absolutely lovely and uh, that's a cathedral I would imagine I think I'm going up there Right over there is the absolute old city. Uh, even should have a Roman amphi amphitheater. So let's just uh, check it out. Now we're going to try and find some uh, traboul, which are uh, very old uh, traverses. I'm not sure if that's the English correct word. Past passageways pretty much hidden between the, the buildings and unless I'm very much mistaken it should be around 300 of them here the only problem is I don't have them on the map so let's see if we can find uh, find some actually well fingers crossed 
now if I can't find one then um, I'll just uh, direct you to a video where you can actually see the, the trouble. I, uh, I know that Tim Travel did a beautiful episode on them but uh, yeah I would have loved to just walk through a few of them but it's so busy I, I really don't fancy my chances. What do you know? We found one. They made these kinds of best ways to make sure that the silk workers could get uh, uh, quick access to the to the rivers. Now it's a perfect place for uh, for tourists to uh, queue up. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm glad I actually found one. And as I said, there's probably around 200 of them here, so you could spend a whole a couple of days uh, finding them, I suppose. Tough little climb. Look at the Alps. Look, the um, old Latin name for Lyon, which I knew, of course, because I've been reading up on my Asterix and Obelix comic albums, and uh, who says you can't learn anything from a comic? Ha. And so this would be the old Roman theatre of, or what is left of it. But, it's still impressive. I think back in the day it could hold 10,000 people. <laughs> Man, that must have been something, eh? And that is a true testament to the fact that this city is indeed about 2,000 years old. That should be a nice place to work. I'm not sure if it's part of the museum or if you can actually work there. Well, I'm not going to mount those stairs. Sorry. But uh, we'll have a little look around. Not sure what all those people are waiting for. I'm certainly not going to perform. <laughs> well, as you can probably guess, it's still in use for plays sometimes. So, it might uh, if you're ever in Lyon, might make sense to uh, try and uh, see who's playing and when and, 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 and what, because that could be interesting. Quite sure what I've got lined up next, maybe nothing. In that case, I will uh, get myself a nice glass of something cold, something refreshing. But suffice to say, I absolutely love Lyon. What a beautiful city. So, that's day zero done for. I hope I've been able to give you a nice insight in, uh, in Lyon and uh, have encouraged you to actually uh, stop by in Lyon rather than just race by on your way to the Mediterranean. Uh, yeah, it's an absolutely lovely, lovely old medieval city. I haven't even touched the museums and uh, I would have loved to spend more time in the Traboul, in the, the passageways, but uh, yeah, uh, as I said, I was way too busy. So I was uh, lucky to have found one at least that I could uh, access easily well going with the flow and going with the uh, with the theme really um, you know memory lane and all that I reserved myself a spot at one of the um, satellite restaurants that Bocuse has uh, set up over the years uh, there's one in the north the south the east and the west as I, and the west is the, the closest to where I am staying so uh, yeah that should be uh, should be nice it should be just like a bistro brasserie style i don't think it's going to be that fancy but uh, i'm not sure if it's actually a brasserie a bistro restaurant or, or a bouchon um because um there's a bit of a difference if you've seen the, the bouchon in the city center bouchon obviously is actually the word the french word for uh, cork 
and is also a word for traffic jam and here in Lyon I think pretty much exclusively here to, to Lyon it also means obviously these little bistros that you see that serve very typical uh, food uh, sausages and they pretty much use every part of um, of any of any animal uh, so you find lots of offal uh, in, in those dishes as well. So that's probably not uh, everyone's cup of tea. Yeah, I'll see what, what, what's on offer on the uh, Bocuse West uh, where I'm going t tonight. That should set me up for the rest of the yeah, couple of days. All right, thanks for watching and uh, see you later. Enjoy the rides, stay safe out there and uh, au revoir. Le vent se lève, fait paralyse et prend ton rêve.